Hey guys, this is CJ McCullough. I just wanted to jump into something that I thought is really cool. Just got something in the mail and I wanted to share it with you. So I recently just picked up this iPhone 11 Pro Max and I, I got it for my birthday, which was actually just a couple of days ago, about on, on Friday, uh, October 4th. And uh, I really like it so far. Uh, I haven't taken the actual screen off. I kind of cut the corners just a little bit because I didn't get a screen protector yet, but I got something and you'll, you'll see in just a moment, but I'm really liking the, the screen and the phone. I had the iPhone 10 before this and uh, the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The reason I decided to go and get the upgrade was uh, I really liked the fact that the Pro Max had a really, really ridiculously longer battery life. And over the X, I think it had about seven hours better battery life than my iPhone 10, the original iPhone 10. And I didn't go up to the XS or the XR because it just didn't seem like that much of an upgrade at the time. But even though this one is still a little bit of a monument or it is not that monumental and is very of a minute sort of upgrade, the cameras, the, the three cameras on the back, the ultra wide is what I really wanted and that extra battery life is something that I really enjoyed. Uh, I definitely think that the iPhone 11, if you're looking for a new iPhone, the iPhone 11, the regular model with all the different colors is really a great model to go with. Uh, and it still has excellent battery life, but this phone actually had seven hours better battery life than my original iPhone 10. So that's the reason I ended up going with this phone. Uh, I ended up trading in my iPhone 10, uh, or I will be in a couple of days when the package comes in the mail. Um, but I'll be trading in my iPhone 10 and uh, I'm using this in the meantime. So stay tuned. I'm got, I've got an unboxing today of the, which you've already probably seen on the screen, of the best iPhone case under $20. And I really think it's the best. I've used it for my iPhone 10 and I just got another one because this one's a little bit bigger. So stay tuned, stick with me, and we'll get through this unboxing together. All right, let's jump into it. There will be more videos to come with the iPhone 11 Pro Max as well. Um, I'll have a couple of videos up just to uh, get a little bit of the feel of it, and I may even do some photo shoots with it in the future. So uh, definitely stay tuned to those videos coming in the future. I know I haven't really posted many videos recently, and I've really wanted to, just haven't had a lot of time to. So uh, I'd like to get into doing some more videos, and uh, just stay tuned. If you subscribe to this video, hit that like button, and you'll be notified. Uh, if you press that little bell icon, you'll be notified when the next videos come out, all right? So stay tuned and we'll get into it now. So here's the package it came in. Uh, this is the Amazon package. No affiliates to Amazon, but uh, I really love a lot of Amazon's products. I ordered this yesterday and uh, it was just free one day shipping. Uh, that's what I love about Amazon. You can always get things really fast whenever you want them. And honestly, I don't think I've been to the store in, in an actual mall or anything like that in I don't know how long because Amazon is just that fast. Uh, I really love their stuff and I love how they deliver because it's always in a great package. And let's get into unboxing. So without further ado, So guys, this is what I got in the package. These two right here, I've got a, a Spigen iPhone 11 Pro Max Ultra Hybrid clear case. And I've also got the tempered glass screen protector. Any tempered glass screen protector, you can get one anywhere. This one was $10.99. Uh, I normally get the one that has, uh, it's fingerprint resistant and uh, it's scratch resistant, shutter, uh, shatter proof and everything like that. So. Uh, you can find those literally anywhere. But the point of this video is for the Spigen iPhone 11 Pro Max Ultra Hybrid case. And I love this. I used this case on my last iPhone 10 and the iPhone 7 Plus that I had and the 6 that I had before that. Uh, I really love these cases and I'll show you why. So if you look at the packaging, you can see it says smartphone case, something you want. Uh, 
It also says it's a form fitted for the device, ultimate everyday protection, and stable mounting. From my experience, this case has been extra reliable, super durable, and I love the flexible rubber silicone kind of cases that really flex and bend instead of being a solid hard case because the, I feel like the hard cases, when you drop them, it's just like being the phone itself. It just hits the ground and psh, makes this huge sound. But rubber has a little bit of malleableness to it and it's able to uh, take the shape of other things. So I love Spigen for their air cushion technology as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this as well. For those who are into eco-friendly products, this is definitely an eco-friendly product as well. Part of their green campaign right here. And with their green campaign, they have uh, for recycling, less waste and light package. Also, you can see right here, it's made in South Korea. And so let's jump right into the unboxing. So as you pull it out, there's no other papers or anything like that. So we can get rid of that. And you just have your case in this nice clear wrapping. And I received the clear, the crystal clear case. Um, the one that I had before this, I think it was in the transparent color. Um, it was a little bit darker than the crystal clear. I really like the crystal clear because it is just that crystal clear. Um, so on the back, it has a little orange film it says just to remove the protection film uh, you can either pull up on that or just tells you that you need to do it because there is one on the inside and one on the outside you pull one back here pull one back from the middle and then you can apply it to your case um, the one thing that I noticed about this case as well is that uh, if you look here on the corners I don't know if you can see that it says spigen right there and you got these little air cushion corners right here and that's what I love about spidgy cases I call it spidgen but you know some people might call it spigen or spigen or whatever I call it spidgen it just sounds right to me but I love the ruggedness of the case it's actually even though it's made of silicone and rubber it you know bends just a little bit to add a little bit of flex so that it has something to conform to bends just that much and it, it's even with pressure doesn't bend at all always comes back to its shape and on the corners here by the buttons that's where it's a little bit uh, less sturdy which allows you to press the buttons foot firmly there's a cutout down at the bottom for the charging port and for the speakers and of course for the camera. The cool thing about this case is that on the corners, it has a lip that will come up to the side of your phone because iPhones tend to curve in and uh, it will just come up to the top so that it will actually prevent you from uh, hitting anything face down as well. Uh, which is really good if you don't have a screen protector. I really recommend that you do get a screen protector at all times. I always have a screen protector on my phone, um, but I would definitely recommend this. And it also has a little lip at the top as well for the cameras because we know how much these cameras recede out from the back of the phone. It's not a huge deal, but you definitely want something to protect it. So let's go ahead and put it on and see how it fits. I'm gonna start by removing the protective film. Takes a little peeling off, but once you get it, it comes right off. And now we just have the inside. This one's always a little bit more tricky to get. Let's see if you can grab it from a different corner. Have to pick at it for a second and then comes right off. Nice crystal clear little scratch right in the middle, but it looks pretty good. That'll wipe right away. 
nice, very crystal clear. It does pick up a little bit of fingerprints over time, but uh, it's really not that bad. So let's go ahead and apply it to our phone. Just wanna wipe it down a little bit. I'm actually going to remove the protector. So this is actually not just the screen protector, this is what came on the phone. I just cut it on the corners as I mentioned before, just to uh, make sure that the screen was fully protected. But since we're gonna put a new screen protector on there today, then we might as well take it off. I'm just gonna wipe it off on my pants, nothing serious here, because when we do the screen protector, it will uh, have a, its own cleaning cloth and everything in there as well. So in we go, just gonna take it, um, it's very tight when you put it on, so definitely uh, try to make sure you put the buttons in first. If you put the buttons in first, it'll just snap right in. And just like that, it's all done. And it looks really great. You can still see I got the midnight green color in the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And you can still see the, it's like a grayish green. Uh, you can still see the color right through there if you have the product red or uh, any of the other colors. Even if you get the iPhone 11 or the iPhone 11 Pro or the iPhone 11 Pro Max or any of the iPhone colors, uh, you should definitely be able to see pretty well your color and it looks pretty good, honestly, to me. Um, the best thing about these, I always feel so comfortable when I have spidgen cases because um, I literally will just take the phone and throw it and I know that it is protected. So because of that air cushion technology, I have a lot of faith in it. And I might even do a drop test with my iPhone 10 just because I don't wanna be throwing my iPhone 11 around, you know, still brand new. So uh, since before I actually traded, traded in and uh, send it back, um, I think I might do a little drop test just to show you uh, what the other spidgen cases will be able to uh, withstand. So if you really look at the case, you can see right here on the edges how it really comes up on the sides right around each corner and it really protects the screen so if it hits at any angle like this like this anywhere in here even if it hits face flat it's actually raised at the bottom and i don't know if you can see that but it's raised right there on the on the edges so if it hits flat on the table or somewhere your screen will be protected now, if there's like a rock on the ground or something like that and it hits like that, you know, that's why you need a screen protector and we're gonna put that on later as well. So definitely really like the feel of it. Um, it's not a very, it's not very slippery. Um, you know, then again, my hands are a little sweaty right now, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's not very slippery though. Um, it's built very well. It covers, uh, it doesn't doesn't cover the speakers and it has a space for the uh, microphone and the uh, charger port, as I mentioned before. And it just leaves everything very nicely looking and it has the little sign up here at the top. It says air cushion technology and the spigeon section right there. And then on this side, it says uh, Spigen, Incorp or Spigen Incorporated in Irvin, Irvine, California, made in South Korea, right there on the side. So definitely overall, I think that this case is definitely the best clear case that you can buy for your iPhone anything or for your Android or whatever product you have. Spigen cases are the best. For under $20, I think I got this for $10.99 on Amazon and you know, they have tax and so it came up to like $11.24. But um, this is really the best case that you can buy because it has substantial feel, it is very durable. Um, yes, it has some fingerprints that pick up over time, but now they're gone. So really it's the best case that you can buy it to show off your color, to make sure that you can still be protected in any situation you have and to just throw it and feel safe. You heard it, it hit the wall. Yeah, I know, it's okay. But we'll have a drop test with the iPhone 10 as well. I'm gonna go outside briefly and do that and we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna put my screen protector on the iPhone 11 as well and then we'll go from there. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for the drop test if you wanna see that as well and we'll continue from there. 
Uh, if you are going to click off the video now, please do subscribe to the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Smash that like button, because that's what people are doing. If you don't want to, then I guess don't, but I don't know. Thanks. All right, guys, this starts the portion of the drop test. Just wanted to start off by saying uh, this is my iPhone 10 and uh, just reviewing this portion because I have to send this back. So we're not going to completely destroy it, but we do want to take a look at and see how good the case was. This is the original spidging case that I had and uh, it was in a darker, I think it was the transparent color and not the uh, clear. Um, over time, I've had this case for about two years now. Um, it has a little bit of uh, different, I don't know if you can see uh, the wear in it, but uh, there's a little bit of some scratches in there and everything, but you know, that's from some heavy use as well. Um, but overall, the sides of the case have held up very well and it still looks very good. I have a uh, screen protector on it as well, but uh, this is actually what I feel a real, real world test would look like because most of the time I have a screen protector on my phone and I have the case on there for the max protection anyways. If you're just carrying your phone around and you think that just because the Apple says that it's the most durable glass that's in an iPhone, that doesn't really say anything to me. That means that regardless of what I have, uh, I paid about $1,000 for this and I paid about $1,000 for the iPhone 11 as well. So I'm not taking my chances I want to make sure that it's as comfortable and as uh, capable as possible, as durable as I can get it to be, because I know that in the future, if I ever want to trade it in or do anything else, I want it to look as good as it can be. So without further ado, let's jump into the drop test and see how it goes. So first, I'm going to start off from about knee height, and then I'm going to go to about waist height, and maybe we'll see about head height, but we'll see how it goes. First, I'm gonna start from right about here, about knee height. I'm six foot three, so my knee may be a little bit higher than most people's. But uh, let's start from uh, right about knee height, right on the on the bottom. Three, two, one. And I know that always survives, and you can even see the uh, everything Apple Pro has uh, a very rigorous test similar to this as. Uh, without the cases on it or anything, but I just like to see this is a, uh, a tempered glass screen protector as well So uh, I just like to see if the screen on the uh, tempered glass breaks and just how it falls in general uh, We can do it on the other side on the top And I have full confidence in every one of these right on the face because it has that nice lip right around there, I have no problem with dropping it on the face or even on the back. Can even come up, skip, uh, uh, this is my waist height, we can skip waist height and go to chest height. Have no problems, all confidence in the spidget case. That one didn't fall completely flat, let's try that one more time. Nice. There actually is a little bit of cracking in the, oh, no, that's just, that's just dust. <laughs> but this is a really good, you got to get yourself a case. You got to get yourself a case. You got to have a, a good screen protector as well so that you can prevent these types of things. I'm CJ McCullough. Subscribe to this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, press the bell icon for future videos. I hope to be coming out with future videos very soon. If you like this video, leave a like. If you don't want to, leave a dislike. Tell me why. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.